Did you watch that uh, future <laughs> work event? It, as much as was humanly possible. Um, you feel painful? Yeah, it wasn't great. There was, as I messaged Paul, there was more soul in the dead squirrel on the side of the road than this event. I mean, yeah, the majority I, of these presenters look, it was probably in front of a green screen, but it felt like they had cement shoes on. They were not allowed to move their lower half. They were right. very constricted in what they could not like say or do, but like their movements. Like it was just very, <laughs> like if I kept thinking at the end of this, they're going to tell us this was all AI generated. I'm like, that makes sense. But I, so, <laughs> um, I can't explain this because on the one hand, you might say something to the tune of, well, maybe they expected to have more to announce, but something happened. They had to delay it. And it's like, yeah, whatever. But they, they just revealed this event. They, they could have, mm -hmm. you know, so the, 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 how do I say this? The, the problem is that <laughs> the problem isn't that Pano Spinet wasn't there. The, the problem is that what they announced they only announced two things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, well, that's not fair. Uh, all of the announcements were Surface related, right? So there's yep. two new Surface devices, but only for business, which means you can't easily find them as a person, right? Um, and then some Surface peripherals and things, which, you know, honestly, some of those were very interesting. And I like the, there's a keyboard cover now for the Surface mm -hmm. Pro that has the bigger kind of bolder. Yep. Uh, you know, it's... Nice. Yeah, I, the, the Surface hardware uh, was fine. It was <laughs> it was nothing to do with that hardware. I think the hardware is fine. It's whatever. Yep. It's kind of what we expected. It's it was what just, it needs to be. Yeah. Then they went through well, that whole... That it isn't, right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, go on. I'm sorry. They went through that... I, I had to like scoot back and take a little deep breath here because first off, this felt like a Cortana <laughs> demonstration all yeah. over again. Paul... I cannot uh, believe that they did the demo as like a reason you should deploy AI at your business is that somebody can open up court. Oh, cope, I almost said Cortana uh -huh. Copilot and say, change my wallpaper. I know. And I was like, I, then they did some other ones. It was like open Bluetooth or whatever. It was like, are you Dude, guys yeah, serious? I, I just don't. Uh, you spent $10 billion so, and you want to show us how to change so, a wallpaper. All right. So two quick things I'll just say. One is talk. I don't out. believe, <laughs> I don't believe they, announced anything I, I i don't if you and i did and i talked to mary joe about this mm -hmm. we talked briefly if you kind of step through the stuff they talked about it's like well what's new yeah um nothing <laughs> i mean like windows mm -hmm. uh windows 365 copilot nothing no um, it's all stuff jared Spitaro, the uh the leader of Microsoft 365, as I think of him, uh, if you you should look it up if you haven't. He has a new um, he has a new title. He's Does the he? yeah, it's something like head of AI, something something something. So you know, he's under that new guy that just came in to lead the. Oh, listen! You'd have to what what kind of transparency would have to occur for me to be able to answer that question? I have no idea. Let me down and I again. Think that's, I think that's by design. No, it's not me. I know, it's I, the no, no, I know, I know. You know, the other thing though is that. You're still letting me down, yeah. I know. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just. I'm just trying to understand what, why they even did this, right? So, I, I the surface thing is to me the most interesting. Uh, there, there was something actually new. I don't understand not making those devices available to individuals, except that obviously we know that in two months' time ish, uh, Qualcomm based PCs are going to start coming out with the new chipset. And there seems to be a lot of support for that, right? Mm -hmm. There seems to be a lot of indications that this is going to go very well. Um, we have already seen rumors that there would be, what is it called? Uh, Snapdragon Elite X versions of the those two devices, right? Mm -hmm. Clearly, and uh, against all common sense, I, I can't say, but clearly they intend to go to market for individuals with those devices mm -hmm. right away. That's fascinating, right? In the past... They did that ARM specific version of Pro, and then I, I guess with nine they did one of each, which I'm sure confused people, right? Like, what, okay, you have two of the same thing, sort of. But having just started using this MacBook Air, it's very clear to me that they want to be able to answer that, 
you know. Yeah. Um, this is not accurate. I don't really have an accurate. Maybe there is a better way to do this, but I don't have a way to measure battery life. But like one of the big promises on these Apple Silicon devices is uh, double digit battery life, you know, 16, 18, maybe even 20, mm -hmm. you know, something. Right. So I let this thing go yesterday. I used it all day. Um, again, looking at the, the little graphs and the battery, whatever they call that thing. It's probably not accurate, but according to this thing, I used it for about, for about nine hours yesterday, and uh, it had forty five percent battery life when I went to bed. That's not bad. Yeah, and That's my first reaction was yeah. So I had two reactions. Like, so the first one was I was like forty five percent. Like I, I sort of thought like you know, you hear all these things about multi day battery life, and I'm like I surprised this wasn't like seventy percent or seventy five percent. You know, mm -hmm. but then I looked at that little what do they call it, the control panel or something. And you could see the, like the amount of use each, uh, you know, yeah. whatever over time. And I was like, I'm like adding it up and I'm like, that's like nine, nine hours of use, like screen on, screen on time. Like, mm -hmm. actually that's pretty damn good. So yeah, it really is. That, I mean, that's 18 to 20 hours real world. I mean, and I was using the damn thing. Like I'm installing apps and writing things and whatever. I mean, I wasn't editing video and I wasn't doing, I don't know what a, playing games or anything like that, but it's got some MacBook Air. I'm not going to play games in this thing. So of course I am. I'm going to try it. Of course I am. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I, I'm not right. going to start playing games on a Mac, I, but I, of course I want to see what that looks like, but um, yeah. So th I think that's what they want, right? They want the surface laptop surface pro to both work as, <laughs> you know, computers, but also to be able to say, Hey, 15 hours or 20 hours, whatever the number is. Right. Um, and at least they can be competitive with the Apple Silicon Max, right? I think this is yeah. the the dream. Yeah. Which I was doing a lot of backpedaling, or not or, uh, treading of water, or however you want to say it. I, I don't know how to explain yesterday's event. Like, it's like, what? I, I, I don't know. It wasn't like an embarrassment. Like, no, uh, but it was just very stoic. The whole it thing. Was, uh, it was, it's, to me, it felt like and it shouldn't have because honestly, like I said, it's a virtual event. They did this in advance. They could have done anything, but it felt like the guy was walking out on stage and they were like, Bob, listen, um, we actually, you know, the big announcement we had, we're not doing that anymore. So anyway, have fun and, you know, kill it. Yeah. And he's like, what, I <laughs> like that was 80% of what I was going to talk about because they didn't announce anything. They literally like co-pilot advances so fast. They didn't say anything new. How is that no. possible? They announced, they didn't announce. They released four custom GPTs a month ago, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. They never even announced it. Talk about that stuff. I, I it's I, or preview. There's no uh, commercial event coming up until Ignite at the mm -hmm. end of the year. Talk about some of the stuff you're going to release for Microsoft 365 Copilot in the next two months or something. Like I, you, you're telling me that OneDrive Copilot would wouldn't have been of interest to this market. I I it, I don't I can't explain it. Yeah, it felt like they felt. It seems like they had to talk about Surface, and they're like, "What can we do?" And so they said, "We're going to announce these two devices, and we'll just go talk about Copilot." And like that's about it. And that's dumb because I think yeah. Surface could. They, I, how many pure Surface events have we sat through in our lives? I, I it's time do a Surface event. Yeah. You've had a leadership change. Mm -hmm. Let's meet this guy. What's his name? Brett Ostrom, I think. Yeah, he's good, right? He's been, actually that guy's been around since the beginning. By he the has, way, he's not new. He's, he's not like new to the team. He's been there forever. Like, give him some time. Let him yeah. talk. You know, I, I, a surface event would have been of great interest uh, in the general kind of personal technology whatever world, and obviously of huge mm. interest in Microsoft world. And uh, I. Here's my unfounded guess. Because the real question I have is like, why are, why wasn't this just announced with their other Surface event, right? Like one Surface event you to rule them all? Right. right. You can't just wait two months, you know. Yeah, but well, I, well, I, my, I, my I, guess here is that these devices are ready to start shipping. And right. they're like, we got we to gotta announce these things because they are they were too nervous to like maybe do it quietly with their partners. Be like, yeah, you can order this stuff. And then it would have blown up like the Surface Pro 10 is available. I literally could have been an email. I probably should. Have, so the, the, 
yesterday was curiously busy. Um, a lot of stuff going on, right? Apple and yep. trust, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, a little bit. So I know, I know. So you, you kind of like things kind of slip by the wayside a little bit. I had these things I had been writing for a while and wanted to get out. But the Mac appeared for me. I want, you know, I had to get that out, you know. So there's these, there are these things that are half formed in my brain or half formed in half documents. But, you know, one of the things I should have written and have not, but I, I'll just say, there's been a lot of criticism of Surface over the years for myself and others, right? Mm -hmm. That they're always kind of behind the curve technologically. They release things late in the cycle. So the, the, this is not their, f well, yeah, it is. I mean, I Intel announced the core or released the core ultra processors in December, which mm -hmm. is like completely out of band with anything. Um, the first, P well, the first PCs based on those chips are actually announced in December. And then we had a bigger wave in January. So here we are, it's two months after the rest of the planet, and they're like, hey, we have some too. And it's like, guys, that should have happened in January. <laughs> like, like that, that is inexcusable. So there's that. It's not as bad as we're going to ignore USB-C for 10 years or whatever that was. Right. But if you look at some of the other stuff they did, and, and the language they used, which was like, look, we've gotten feedback, we need more ports, you know, this kind of thing. The, for Surface, it's not radical, but... 15-inch uh, Mac, 15-inch uh, yeah. Surface laptop has like two USB-C ports now and a full-size USB-C port in addition to Surface Connect, right? So I guess that's them kind of answering this complaint. Uh, if you look at other commercial laptops from companies that actually know what they're doing, like uh, HP and Lenovo, and probably Dell, I guess, but I'm not as familiar. Those, that's where you see, well, one of two things, either the craziest, thinnest, lightest, whatever, and it's all USB-C, or it's an actual business class laptop and it has full-size HDMI, it has, you know, mm -hmm. like, a, you know, regular USB ports, et cetera. So they try to address that market by, you know, giving customers what they're asking for. So I, 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 in the scope of Surface, I feel like what they did was good. Yeah. I, this is like a, a, a faint praise, but I, I really, it took them freaking forever, but good. Like, I think these things meet needs. Um, they should have come out two months ago. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason they didn't wait till the consumer stuff was available is because it would have been too late. Imagine it's May and and the whole world has already shipped. The, 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 those core ultra chips, the first generation, really not that great. Like, they're not that great. And there's no, there is no software that takes advantage of the, MPU basically, except for Windows Studio Effects, and who gives a crap? And the stuff we're going to see that will is not happening until later in the year, and there'll be a second gen. There will be on the fifteenth gen Intel by then. So, what are they going to do? Like a not like ship product like three months before or whatever it is before Intel comes up with the next thing? I mean, I think they were kind of stuck. But you know what? Just do a Surface event. It would have been enough. Like I said, I don't matter. Know. No, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't feel awful about all of it. I that, that event was odd. It was yeah. Anyways, like I said, but not well. Last, I guess it was uh, build when that Panos Panay thing happened. It was mm. like, oh god, like that was bad. Like it was bad. Like embarrassing. Mm. And uh, this was not embarrassing, but it no, was it's not just, embarrassing. It was That's not confusing. Uh, it was like, yeah. what are we? What are we saying here? What is this? I don't know that we have to remind people that. AI is the thing. I don't, Dave, I don't know if you've been watching the news, but we have this little thing called Copilot. Let's talk about it like you've never heard of it. I thought that was a little weird. Yeah. And then they showed that it could change your wallpaper. Oh, yeah. That, that was the second of those two things I wanted to mention. Um, when they first announced this notion of Windows Copilot and, and the idea that it would, I, the language is not exact, but it would, it would turn uh, normal users into power users somehow, and that this is the literal um, implementation mm -hmm. of that notion. No. No. Mm -mm. This is the stupidest. And, and th this non-transparent reorg thing that is sort of referenced um, where we don't know where things are really in the company anymore, it was implied that uh, of all the things that have Copilot, the only one that's not in this new group is Windows. And if you look at Windows Copilot, it, it's just Copilot with that thing, with the turn dark mode on. Mm -hmm. It's meaning it's nothing. The other There's thing. AI stuff in Windows that's good, background removal, blah, 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 whatever. 
but turn on dark mode, you're going to type that in. That That's the easy. Uh, no, okay. come on. If you yep. can type, the other how about here's an idea. Search. That they search. Uh, I believe the yeah. person they said typed in optimize my PC was one of the yes. examples. Yes, yes. First, two, two problems with this, Paul Threat. Two problems. First off, Windows should just do that. <laughs> right, you, right this is yes. windows your thing is supposed you to optimize my hard drive yeah second thing was <laughs> to optimize it it just says i'm gonna delete unused files or something like that like it just started I, deleting files like there's nothing more scary than ai just saying you know what screw these files they're gone and now your pc has been optimized and i was like oh God, that's that's right <laughs> it doesn't old. download like that pc manager app from china yeah they're, they're, look the tech world has uh, the tech writing world the tech whatever you want to call what we do has devolved into one of two articles, right? It's either here's a sale on some device that we get kickback on because it's like an affiliate link. And so we're going to turn it into a news article. Mm -hmm. And the other one is here's how to uh, delete your cash on your iPhone or something, yeah. which is the kind of iPhone equivalent of what you just said. It's like, we're going to delete temporary files and blah, blah, blah. Like th there's a look, Sadly, there's a checklist of like 21 things you could probably do to optimize the performance of a Windows computer that include removing items from auto startup at, you know, mm -hmm. at login or whatever. And, you know, you can go down the list, but uh, removing temporary files. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Have fun with that. That's, uh, yeah, you're right. This is what the computer should, the computer should do. It, by the way, the computer does do this. <laughs> that's the, that's the stupid thing. Um, you know, so you want to save some disk space, like you just upgraded to a new version of Windows. Remove the temporary older version of Windows. Yeah, I guess. Or just let it sit there for seven days and don't worry about it. You know, I mean, if you're using a computer that's this constrained on storage, maybe you shouldn't be using Windows. I don't know. I will beat this example into the ground because I think it's perfect and I mm -hmm. came up with it. So I will continue to say this until the sun explodes. You know what they should have done? They should have taken, they should have opened File Explorer, dropped yeah. in all the Surface specs, dropped in all the Surface imagery, and said, make a PowerPoint from this information and then just use that during the keynote and be like, this is how Copilot makes your life better. But I'm confused it. that you think they didn't do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it, it kind of red light. Right it did there. have that wooden, am I, was I created with AI feel, you know? It was, it was right there. They had the example right in front of them to show how this could actually save you 10 hours, which is what Yusuf said at the beginning per month. Like, You're, here's an example that they didn't take advantage of. The Microsoft that would have made that video is long gone. But mm -hmm. yes, the way this should have opened, it should have been two guys in a cafeteria in some building in Redmond saying, hey, we got this uh, business event. I don't know what to do. And he's like, well, what are we trying to show off? He's like, well, you have all these AI capabilities. Like, I have an idea. This is what, like, Brian Valentine would have done this, right? Mm -hmm. that, like, two million years ago. It would have been fun. It would have had personality. It would have been everything that yesterday wasn't. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Right. The only other thing worth mentioning here, so mm -hmm. there's this little Apple DOJ thing. It'll take I a long see. time to, but part of sure. their argument, which mm -hmm. I tend to not disagree with, like two of the bullet points of it were mm -hmm. iMessage, right, being on yeah. other devices, oh, and yeah. also an Apple Watch working with other devices at the same level of parity. So the question becomes, Paul Threat, if Samsung, in a theoretical world that this plays out, Mm -hmm. If you could buy a Samsung Galaxy S28 or whatever, and it would yeah. work with your Apple Watch at the same level of fidelity as it does on iOS and iMessage, would more right. people be likely to buy a Samsung? And I think the answer is very much yes. I mean, yes. Like yeah, but the, the real, okay. The answer, I think the answer is yes, but the question there is, could you ever well, get Why there? would we force Apple to do this? I, I, I feel very strongly that uh, Apple in particular and big tech in general needs to be regulated. And I actually agree with probably the vast majority of the charges related to what Apple's doing because they, they're one of the most rapacious, horrible companies on earth. Um, a fact that's undermined by their incredible marketing and how people just suck it up and believe everything they say. But anyway, those two, nonsense. Um, the answer uh, to the iMessage problem is not forcing Apple to bring iMessage to Android. That's ridiculous. That's the... You know, in the Microsoft antitrust, here's a beautiful example, actually. <laughs> um, Microsoft likened the bundling of another browser in Windows as forcing Coke to put a can of Pepsi in a six-pack that they mm -hmm. sold, right? And, okay, what you're describing, what they're asking for, is for Apple to take their can of Coke 
give it to Pepsi and let them put it in their product. And I'm sorry, but that's that's nonsense. That is ap- the Apple Watch is not a dominant product. It is yes, part of that ecosystem. It, mm-hmm. it I'm, I guess is part of it. No, it isn't. Uh, if the Apple Watch disappeared, uh, the iPhone would not be less viable as a product. Like it, that's a ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's that's ridiculous. The the better answer would be the two answers to, to both those things are Apple should open up uh, their messages app to RCS and uh, do sure. encrypted blah 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 whatever and make that secure, which they could. It's a standard. It, the whole world uses it except for them. They've talked about doing it, but not really. You know actually make them do that that would solve that problem and that's the only solution to that problem it has nothing to do with them bringing iMessage anywhere and the apple watch thing that's ridiculous that no if there is something in ios or some some things that prevents samsung or fitbit or google whoever from taking their watches and putting it on apple and having the same degree of functionality that the apple watch has Yes, we could talk about that, but you know, forcing them to bring Apple Watch to <laughs> stop, just killing my stop. dreams. Threat. Why do you want a Samsung Galaxy S twenty eight or whatever you just said? <laughs> Maybe don't, you, you I don't. don't. I can assure you, you don't. Probably not. But... I have not published my review of the S twenty four Ultra yet, in part because I'm a little bit stressed over how much I can hate it. Like oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. I want to kill it. If I didn't spend fourteen hundred bucks on this thing, I would snap it in half and make a video of me doing it. Actually, that might be, that might actually generate the. Uh, you might, no, it's, you I, might I, like even on that. I one. I hate it so much. I viscerally, really? I hate it. I hate almost everything about it. It takes really good pictures though. Um, but other, no, but I mean, other than that, I yeah. I cannot wait to stop using this thing. I hate it. Is that why you're back to blue bubbles? I think you came back to blue bubbles when you came back. Yeah. From- so I've been. Yeah, so part of part of my delay is I've gone back. I'm using the iPhone right now, and mm-hmm. I've used the Pixel again. When you go from the, the, what I go, I, mean, I know different people have different opinions, but when I went from the Samsung I, first to the Pixel, I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> it was like, yeah. it was, oh, my God. It was such a beautiful change, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, the iPhone also, I... I uh, you know, I have the Mac now, so I'm kind of playing around with. The, that's why I'm doing that, right? I'm playing around with some of the cross stuff. But, um, I, yeah, I would use this iPhone before I would use the Samsung. I, I mean, by a wide margin, it's not really? even close. Yeah, oh yeah. You like the Pixel, so it would be you like the Pixel significantly more than the. Samsung. I wouldn't say significantly more, but more. I, I yeah, I, yeah. There's although you know that this is it's not clear cut, right? The, the, if you think of uh, these kind of decisions as like this matrix of choices, right? There are these things on the iPhone that are better just in general that have nothing to do with ecosystem lock-in, except maybe they do. I don't know. Like, for example, you know this. Like, you have Sonos equipment, right? Mm-hmm. You can play anything to Sonos from on an iPhone. You can't do that on Android. And it's like, guys, <laughs> come on. And and I know that part of it is probably because those two companies are involved in an antitrust trial right now. Yep. Or uh, whatever that. you want to call it, copyright infringement, whatever it is. And uh, But yeah, it, the, the ability to go into the app I want to use to play podcasts or to play music and actually use that to play music, I know that sounds crazy. I mm. can't do that on Android. I have to use the Sonos app. And, yeah, that um, me nuts. That is, that's a big one. It's not the number one thing, but it's, it's up there. Yeah. So. Paul says I need to put this at the end of it. I'm going to be away next week in South Carolina, so don't expect any updates. There you go. Now we get the Here real you. outro. I don't know if I got got off on Samsung, but.